Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, I'm going to share a few tips that might help you if you're mapping multiple MIDI controllers in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. Tip number one, name your controllers. To rename a controller, you want to go and click on the edit button and then click on edit comment. Now you're going to want to go ahead and add a comment in the box here. Once you've got the comment or description that you want for the controller, simply press OK. And now you'll see that it shows up with that comment in the device list along with all of the other controllers that you have connected to Tractor Pro 2. Tip number two, set your imports and outports. The import and outport tell Tractor where to send and receive MIDI data. When using multiple controllers, you're most likely going to want to set the import and outport of each mapping to a specific controller. This will prevent conflicts when multiple controllers send the same MIDI messages. To change the import and outport, click on the drop down menus to the right of the device list and select the particular controller that you will be using for each mapping. Tip number three, if you're going to be doing a lot of mini mapping and are using a Mac, consider buying Extreme Mapping. Extreme Mapping is a program that makes the MIDI mapping process much easier and faster. For more information on Extreme Mapping, watch our other videos that are linked in the description below. If you like this Tractor Pro 2 video and want to see more, subscribe at youtube.com slash thedjpodcast or at thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.